It may not be the most glamorous aircraft flown by the Royal Australian Air Force, but throughout 32 years of service, the Caribou has proven its worth through performance and versatility. I'm Wing Commander Benjamin, I'm the commanding officer of number 38 squadron. The Caribous were introduced to Australia in 1964. They had a baptism of fire. They went immediately into a conflict in Vietnam and proved their usefulness on short takeoff and landing in support directly of the Army in the battlefield. The Caribou aircraft operated by 35 and 38 squadron is still the most amazing short takeoff and landing aircraft in the world today. G'day, my name's Jeff Hill. I'm a flight engineer on the Caribou aircraft. The Caribou has two Pratt & Whitney 1450 brake horsepower, 14 cylinder radial engines. It gives it a very distinctive note and then earns the nickname of the gravel truck. I'm a flight engineer on the aircraft and with two pilots we work as a coordinated crew. My name's Warren Schmidt, I'm a flying instructor with 38 Squadron. The uh, Caribou has been used by the Air Force for over 30 years now for short uh, range technical transport. In its uh, short takeoff and landing configuration, we can land at speeds down around 63 knots, which when the aircraft is uh, somewhere around about 28,000 pounds weight, it's a pretty uh, impressive aeroplane. There are two Caribou squadrons within the RAAF number 35 squadron flying out of Townsville and a number 38 squadron based at Amberley near Brisbane. The aircraft's primary role of tactical transport support to the Australian Defence Force is maintained nationwide with caribous operating from detachments in New South Wales, Western Australia and the Northern Territory. Support for the Army involves supply-resupply airdrop operations, aeromedical evacuation, and troop deployment. One of the primary purposes of the Caribou is to deliver loads to the Army in the bush. The one that the Caribou is really famous for is the LAPES, that is a low altitude parachute extraction system. The way it's deployed is the aeroplane will approach very slow and very low, about four feet above the ground pop a parachute out the back. When the parachute deploys, it acts like a big anchor and will haul the load from inside the aeroplane out. The load will fall under its own weight to the ground and skid to a halt. The aeroplane then flies away from the ground and from the load. Although a replacement aircraft type has been under consideration for several years, there are currently no other fixed-wing aircraft in production today that can match the performance and capability of the Caribou. Consequently, the gravel truck will be retained in RAAF operational service until at least the year 2000. The Caribou, a unique performer in today's airports.